You like my horns? Check them out. They're tall. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, these were Mom's um, horns when she was Maleficent last Halloween when we went to Disneyland. So, I'm wearing them today because guess what? I'm going to be giving a movie review of Maleficent. We went to see it today and I loved it. Okay guys, so I've decided I'm going to start doing movie reviews when I see a movie. And one reason for that is uh, because a lot of parents ask me all the time if it's something that it's okay for their kids to go and see. Um, also because I love movies and I want to share my feelings and experiences. But never worry about spoilers, guys, okay? And in just case any of you do not know, spoilers is when someone gives away what happens in the movie and gives away plot points or the ending. And don't worry, guys, I will never do that in any of my movie reviews, okay? So let's get started with my first movie review, which is Disney's Maleficent. Which, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty obvious by the screen behind me and what's on my head. So anyway... This movie was released on May 30th, 2014. It stars Angelina Jolie as Maleficent and Elle Fanning as Princess Aurora. Now, at first, when I went into the film, I thought it was going to retell the story of the Sleeping Beauty cartoon, but this movie is not a live-action version of the Disney cartoon. It has the same characters, but the storyline is different. This story tells you why Maleficent is wicked and the history of how Princess Aurora comes to be cursed by her. And it's a very interesting twist on the tale and I really, really enjoyed it. The acting was fantastic, guys. Angelina Jolie was very convincing as Maleficent and even added a bit of humor here and there. Um, her character is actually pretty likable even though she's supposed to be the villain. And, um, and Elle Fanning is sweet as honey, of course, portraying Princess Aurora, and she loves and trusts everybody so deeply, and she's such a sweet girl. And for the special effects, they were wonderful. Everything was so realistic and lifelike. The moors, where the fairies live, was so beautiful, guys. That's where I want to go on my next vacation. i got to figure out how to make this happen. Uh, and the costumes. Oh, the costumes and the makeup were amazing, guys. I wonder how many people will want to dress up as these characters for Halloween this year. It just was amazing. Uh, the movie itself is rated PG-13, and it's about an hour and 37 minutes long. And for any parents out there that are wondering if this is a movie their younger kids can see, I will say this, okay? Um, there were a couple of battle scenes. No blood or extreme violence, though. Um, I thought that Angelina's portrayal of Maleficent would be pretty scary, but because she throws some humor here and there, you kind of are seeing it from her point of view and everything, and it makes her less scary. She's very likable, actually. And, uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, there's these, these creatures in her land, which look like big tree men. Like, it's like basically big talking trees. They're a little creepy to look at, but they're very nice, so that makes them less scary as well. So the bottom line is, it just depends on your child. Is he or she easily scared? What kind of movies have you allowed them to watch in the past? Only you know your child, so you got to use your best judgment. Um, my suggestion would be to watch the trailer and look at some pictures online first, and if you're worried about taking them to see it, if you think it looks too dark, then maybe wait for it to come out on DVD or Blu-ray when they're older. Um, the kids in the theater, we saw a few other kids in the theater, and the youngest that we saw was probably about seven or eight years old. So guys, that wraps up my first movie review. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos, and I will do more reviews when I go see movies. So have any of you seen Maleficent yet? Do you want to see it? Do you have plans on seeing it? What'd you think of it if you saw it? If you have seen it, please do not give away anything in the comments so it doesn't ruin the movie for other people, okay guys? Anyway, thank you and I will talk to you next time.